Cape Town, and something special is happening at the iconic V&A waterfront. A thousand miles tribute to the Mille Miglia, the greatest race on earth. An epic event. Check it out. This was the inaugural Cape 1000 and took place in March 2022, a tribute to historic races from a golden era of motorsport. It is an incredible experience and I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. This is the first rally of its kind on the African continent. This, however, is not a race. It's a mixture of regularity rallying and grand touring at its finest. So we're going to leave at 30 second intervals. I don't mind what order you leave in, so as the cars get there, I'll send you off. Have a wonderful time, guys. Right, first beautiful mountain pass of the trip. Four days, 1,000 miles, 40 special cars touring the Western Cape province in South Africa on what must be some of the most beautiful roads on the planet. This is the Cape 1000. Drivers are paired with navigators of their choice and each day are faced with a self-timed rally section of the route. It is not all about the fastest finisher but rather the accuracy of a prescribed average speed between two points. Participants are divided into four categories. From 1927 to 1957 is the tribute class, pre-1976 is the classic class, 77 to 96 is the modern classics, and 1997 to present is the sports car class. At the end of the trip, class winners would be awarded stunning trophies in addition to an overall Cape 1000 winner being declared. Each day ended with a stay in a stunning luxury hotel where the atmosphere and camaraderie was special. There was certainly no shortage of enthusiasm. The people, the people have been amazing. I think um, good roads, um, good friendships. Um, you know, from the day it started, the adrenaline has been pumping. We've had an awesome time, it was fantastic. It was an amazing day. We did a wide-ranging coastal tour of both of the most beautiful routes in the world, I think. Yeah, look, the scenery, I, the first couple of days, those mountains were just awesome. The social atmosphere here is great. It's a really, really cool crowd. Everyone's in good spirits. So here we go, day two, 480 kilometers. Trudeau Pass was, was spectacular. Really enjoyed that. Was that a time stage? We like children, <laughs> honestly.
The Western Cape is famous for its multiple mountain passes and the Cape 1000 endeavoured to include as many of them as possible, much to the delight of the drivers. The sound of howling V12s bouncing off the cliffs was unforgettable. Each day held something special for the participants, including an auction held at the Franschhoek Motor Museum, which benefited the Motorsport Legends Benevolent Fund and the Quad Para Association of South Africa. Salt. Sorry, Nigel, you're a bit late on that one. Eleven thousand rand. Eleven thousand rand. He'll give me eleven and a half. Congratulations, you currently have Tomorrow morning we will depart. We'll depart at half past eight tomorrow morning. Bonjour, day three of the hashtag Cape 1000. Look at this, look at this morning scene. Everyone preparing for the day ahead. We've got a very long day ahead. It's about a 500 kilometer drive with a start at Kilani. All the bags going into the luggage bus. This is how you make the Cape 1000 work. That's quite a sight, eh? Day three included a stop at the Kalani racetrack just outside Cape Town, which allowed the drivers to push their machines in safety. If you are going to be going around the track, please remember that you need to have helmets, you need to have closed shoes, long pants. With the next lap, you come straight into the pit lane and you line up here again. Absolutely fantastic. After the first sort of this pace car went out, Understood a few of the lines, a couple of corners a little bit scribbly, but other than that, fantastic. This is what the sky is built for. Quite short though, not as nice as Kailami, but beautiful. Nice. So you'll have two flying laps, after that you come in. Ran out of fuel. Of course, the Western Cape threw every element at us and day three saw stormy conditions, which made things very interesting for those in cars without roofs. So tell me the rain's pulled in. How is it driving the convertible in the rain? Moist. <laughs> <laughs> Cape Epic 1000 delivered rain, lightning, thunder, serious wind, a bit of smoke, a bit of smog, I mean, we just can't complain, it's bloody fabulous. I'm too ashamed to say, but we ran out of fuel on that one, so. <laughs> Brakes are sort of okay. You've got to just remind yourself there isn't ABS. Awesome. Pity about the rain. Well, tell me, how was the regulatory stages today? Oh, regulatory stages are brilliant, man. We love them. So my wife's with me and she's doing all the maths. She's working out all the issues. 
and uh, she's been brilliant. We haven't, I haven't had to shout at her once today. <laughs> But by the end of the day, the sun was shining as the cars pulled into the beautiful Shelley Point estate on the Cape West Coast. We made a quick trip to Lambert's Bay by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen my husband smile for three hours straight, <laughs> as he has in, the, in those passes yesterday. It was nice to go out to the track. And as always, I mean, the scenery on the way is just unbelievable. See, so a thousand miles. I think we've got another 50 miles left to go. It has been superb. Covering this sort of distance in old cars certainly has its challenges. The final day would see the convoy making its way back to the V&A waterfront. Spirits were high as the Cape 1000 approached the city, with all 40 cars bunched up to make a grand entrance to cross the finish line of South Africa's most beautiful drive. We did it! We did it! No drama! <laughs> it was possibly the best event I've ever attended. When are we doing it again? As you can see, I've done the Mella Mella in Italy with the same car. There's the proof. It went to Italy and back. This is ten times better. Definitely a thousand miles older, but I'm feeling good. We had a great time on the Cape 1000, and a year to wait is far too long for the next one. The only problem we had, there were too many potholes. How eh? <laughs> dang, that's it. <laughs> the Cape 1000, good evening! And lastly, a formal dinner to hand out the awards and celebrate the successful running of the first ever Cape 1000 and of course, celebrate each other's achievements. If you are interested in participating in the next Cape 1000, visit www.cape1000.com for all the details. The Cape 1000 2022 has been run. I just think the organisation that has gone into it is phenomenal. The Cape 1000 will see me again next year and the next year and the next year. No, the response has just been phenomenal. Hats off to Ross and Vanessa for doing this whole event, it's, it's done properly.